Is it yeah. uh, any clear? You're good. All right, gotta make sure we don't run over any children or old women. The guys are fine. We wouldn't run over them. Um, it's a good morning. Not really. I kind of love hate tile. But you know what I hate more than uh, sometimes doing tile? The only reason why we lost a day yesterday. Uh, we, the homeowner came in, changed some things on the tile. So we, yeah, the tile layout. Um, here's what it is. We lost a day yesterday. Uh, but one thing that's, and Har Harley doesn't know what the, uh, what this video is going to be, be about but one thing I think is really comical it's comical and I despise and that's the home improvement weekend do-it-yourself uh, commercials <clears throat> um, one of the reasons I despise them is they give this unrealistic portrayal of not only uh, the skills that it takes, the timeline it takes, but the tools that it requires. Yeah. Yeah, so we got our table here, um, a little messy up here, but we normally don't get this nice area to work on. I'm gonna set my wet saw up here. I got my work table here, tile already up here. I'm gonna put my dry saw here. How about, instead of talking, people are like, <clears throat> just get to work. Harley's in the background. You see him. He's setting up. He's going to mix some thin set back there. You could get away with just a wet saw. Um, but if I can different times, I use my dry saw as compared to um, that. I don't have a wet tile then. Every time you cut a wet tile, you have to dry it down with a rag or whatever before you set it. And it gets a little annoying. You're already tiling. Oh yeah. And I forgot one other thing. Check this out, our bag. So this bag, is typically, see we got our suction cups in there, we got our tea spacers, our little twisties, these things are awesome. And let me set the camera down and show them. This is too much. Okay, so there's the twisty, so that way if you have to make little micro adjustments, you just spin them in. Excellent. Let me see, maybe I'm right there. Got little wedges, and this bag a lot of times is overheating. Now we don't keep any of our. Um, he threw this in here, three uh, quarter by three eighths. We normally don't keep our trial notches in there because we just have too many. We will we will grab them as we're going to a specific job. You see, he's got half by half. This is a bucket, specially made for going in there and grabbing it and cleaning out and this is for for using the wedge all right let me get out i mean we have we have a van fully uh, equipped we have a trailer that's fully loaded out loaded out and, and mind you we do more than bathrooms kitchens or whatever but i was just looking over just our tile alone equipment yeah. and i was like I mean, it, it, it's everywhere, and, and we're just looking at another tile saw. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say, well, Mr. Cantbell, it's because you do this professionally. Some of the tools we just have to have to do the tile, and I, yeah. and we're kind of lost when we don't have them. What do you think about it? I, I agree. You agree with what? I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> It, it take uh, these shows they portray it as um they portray it as buying it on Friday night actually seeing it on seeing it on TV on Thursday night 
going and buying it Friday night, doing it on Saturday, and setting down and enjoying it on Sunday. Whatever. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so it's going to take way more tools and the shows, the shows, no joke, I think what they do is they have the contractor, they tell the contractor, or the do so most time they're recording a contractor to show how fast you can do it and you're gonna have to match that contractor they're like hey we're coming in to shoot the rest of the video can you get 99 percent of your tools out of here just just the tile saw the water hose and maybe a notch trowel to set the tile and what they're leaving out is you're gonna need all your spacers you're gonna need sponges Buckets, thin set, which for some reason is not in the shows. Um, a mixer, tile saw, grinder, dry cutter, helpful. Um, One thing they don't show too is the prep. They don't show the prep up to the job that we we take as far as making sure the finished product turns out the way it does. Right. Uh, I, that that's right there, huge. And it, you're gonna need levels. Lasers, especially if you're doing a shower, you're gonna need lasers all day long. Now, I was thinking this morning when I was up about this video, I was like, boy, I don't wanna come across as negative. I don't wanna come across as one of those people that think, give the impression that only contractors should be doing work, because that's not me. I don't, um, I, I definitely believe uh, a competent person or whatever and a go-getter, um to try it try to do it but it, it's amusing and some some of the funnest things we laugh about is when we're doing a job and our homeowners are watching uh home improvement shows yes and we're like oh would they shut them off one of the reasons and i actually tell people shut those shows off now that our current client we didn't because it's not that large job, it's just a, um, I mean, it's a full bathroom remodel, but one of the reasons is, is I don't want them getting midway into the job and changing up the whole theme, we, well, the whole we, style. Well, we have seen them change also their mood. They, the, the, the shows portray as, you know, the contractor came in there, shot the picture to the homeowner, hey, this is only gonna take us a week. So we'll have it done in a week and then it ends up actually being three weeks. And they skip and, and I, I wanna bring this up. We've been, we have actually seen some of the work that oh, some of these places do. And right there's been a lot of lawsuits involved yep. after the fact of the, um, the homeowner suing either the TV, the, the producer and the, um, the contractor all over the board so yeah I, i'm not saying that there's not good ones that couple from um uh texas i have a feeling that they do really good work yeah and i and i and i don't i've never got that impression that they try to spin that but either way we're getting off track here the mainly the thing is that i wanted to talk about was how comical we believe that the weekend <clears throat> Uh, commercials uh, of backsplashes and and shoot some of them even portray uh, doing a whole bathroom tear out and hey let's let's do a spring makeover in our house good luck with that <laughs> good luck <clears throat> I'm just saying uh I, I, I would tear into it but um uh, yeah Oh, that's nice. We normally don't get this close a drive. I mean, most most of our drives to get into the good the good jobs are a little ways away. We actually we live in a decent area, but um, yeah. Well, let's show us some, show them a little bit what we're doing. All right. That yeah. Hold on. So we'll show you what we're doing today but it's already taken quite a few days to get up to this point. Mm -hmm. But since apparently we're not pros, 
<laughs> we we don't frame we don't frame over top of rotted wood and oh, you know, leave the walls on level and square. Oh yeah. All right.